Hi, this is Pradeep. Uh, so today I'm going to explain one more uh, interview questions. Particularly this one is on lots of confusions are there. What is SAP HANA? What is SAP S4 HANA? And uh, what is the difference between SAP HANA and, and S4 HANA? Because sometimes the interviewer are also asking the questions when you are going for interview. Uh, from the upgradation point of view, they're asking what is the difference between SAP HANA and S4 HANA? So I explain a couple of with examples. So, uh, particularly difference between SAP and S4 HANA but with some practical example I have given here so let's go into the uh, detail about this uh, particular question so let's take the first question what is the difference between SAP HANA and S4 HANA in between I am going to add one more point SAP HANA simple finance and S4 HANA okay so let's start with SAP HANA so what is SAP HANA as you know that SAP is all like whenever you are going to use any application so always one application is supported with one database. So earlier in ACC, when we are working on any app, uh, application, so for example, let's say if I will take the example of, it is my ACC application, which is my NetWeaver, and it is supported with one database. And this database, because when user is going to post any document or anything, it is going to store somewhere. So this database, earlier it was not SAP own database. So here you will find uh, maybe Oracle as a database, or you will find some SQL as a database. So anything can be database. So here having some issues are there. I already have detailed video on that. I will give that link. So if you want to see the detail, like what was the problem with our old database, but Definitely this is our third party database. So that's why SAP upgraded their database in place of any third party database. They introduced here their own database, SAP own database, which they named as their HANA as database. So HANA database having application as, maybe they can continue with ECC. If they don't want to upgrade the software, they can continue with SAP or if they are going to upgrade the software. So in that case, it will be known as your S4 HANA. Okay, so if question is, what is the difference between HANA and S4 HANA? So basically we can say HANA is our database. So this one is our database and this one S4 HANA enterprise management or business suite, which is your software or application. Okay, so in total we can say SAP HANA in-memory database. So this is your in-memory database, which is having SAP S4 HANA as business suite as an your application, which is built on database. So I said that there was some simple finance was there earlier, although now it is not applicable. Simple finance means, let's say uh, this particular product, particularly we'll find in the earlier versions when this product was not fully developed. So that time along with ECC as ERP, so company can use simple finance. The company can use SFIN, SFIN 1.0. So this plus this one. So in both way they can manage. Okay, but once the SAP upgraded simple finance in a proper uh, application, then this one is replaced with our S4 HANA. So that's why simple finance nowadays we are not saying, we are saying it is S4 HANA, which is our application and uh, on your database. And uh, one more thing here you have to remember that this is not any versions. This is a particular, it's a different product. So we have to accept or when in interview you will tell that this is not any version so it is a new product not new versions like earlier you must heard like we have uh, different versions like for example ehv4 okay so ecc is your product and your version chv4 ehv let's say uh, 6 okay so we have uh, ehp 7 so these are your versions some add-on features are there in every version and the product is your ECC. So like that, S4 HANA is not version. So SAP HANA is a completely different product, right? So that also you have to, uh, uh, in your answer, make sure that you will tell that it is a different product which is built on SAP database. Okay, and what is the benefit? Again, already I have detailed video on that, that link I will give here. So you can say that if we will go for on uh, database, like on HANA database, if we we'll go for S4, then we are 
going to have the universal journal or AC docket table. So if you are going to use AC docket table, which is going to add it multiple features. So AC docket includes that means we are going to include here finance. Here we are going to include complete management accounting. So all your overhead management like your cost centers, orders, everything. Then we have your all allocation process. So your month end allocations that also will come under here. Then we have uh, profitability analysis. Copa, which is now known as your margin analysis. Then we have uh, material ledger. Okay, so in finance, uh, complete your receivable, payable, your integrations, asset. Then we have uh, your uh, credit management, receivable management complete. So every business functions related to finance will be part of our AC docket table. So if any company they are going to upgrade. <laughs> their database and their application. So then they are going to have this universal journal or which they are going to get this table AC docket table. So will be added into their survey. So lots of benefit in there. One is your speed. The processing is going to increase, right? So that I'm going to explain in my next question. So if I'll summarize, what is the difference between SAP HANA and S4 HANA? So SAP HANA is your database and S4 HANA is our business suit or application. So don't just give one answer like one word, one word answer instead of that you should give uh, here uh, like brief detail brief information related to that particular topic that particular question then it will be good so instead of answering it's your answer should not be too lengthy or too short so you should go for uh, in in that option you can go for that now coming to second question so second question is let's go to the ppt and let's <clears throat> Our second question is what is the difference between ECC and S4 HANA? Now we are comparing the application with application. Okay, so ECC is our old application and S4 is also our S4 also application. This is new application. And what are the benefits are there? I'm going to highlight few points here. So the first point will be reconciliation. This is one advantage here. Particularly one any area I'm not highlighting here. In general, we can say in ECC there are lots of tables are there for your finance and controlling point of view for different different sources. For example, if you are working on uh, let's say customer, so customer open items tables are there, which is your BSID, then amount cleared, then we have BSAD, and as we know that subledger customers are subledgers so it should be reconciled with your gl and for that gl point of view again we have tables like fagal flex t that is our total table and fagal flex sa right so this is our reconciliation data and this is our subledger data so when we are going to have one customer invoice you will find a customer report and you also will find one gl report okay so uh, similarly for vendor point of view we have bsik we have BSAK open item cleared item and simultaneously we have the GL table so as here we have uh, issues related to our processing parallel processing is not there locking mechanism so that is why we have so many tables are there so you will find here table tables like your index tables for your receivable for your payable for your asset for your cost center you will find the total table so these are this is your total table this is your line item table so you will find total table, you will find line item table, right? Then you will find your uh, total table for your controlling. So when you are doing the allocation, so that time you are using cost center allocation, right? Your distribution method, period and distribution method. So COST, when you are using primary cost element, or if you are using secondary cost element, COSS. So those data you will find. So as a result, initially something was there in COAP, then later it is upgraded with COSS. So reconciliation issues are uh, there because so many tables are there. For example, material ledger point of view, different tables. So as we are going to keep the data to optimize the speed in different, different tables. So that is why definitely the reconciliation issue will be there. But it's not like that. Now in S4, if you are going to have one table for everything, whether it is finance for management accounting, Europe, customer, your vendor, your asset, your material ledger, COPA, everything is there in one single table. So by default, reconciliation is automated or reconciliation by design. So in S4, we are going to have multi features related to finance together. So there will be no difference because of universal general or SAP is saying that it is single source of truth. So that is one benefit. So point number one related to this 
question what is the difference between ECC and S4RR? So one is we have the solution reconciliation issues. We simplified the reconciliation and that is why the old term was simple finance. So we simplified our reconciliation issues or month end activities issues. Second point is <clears throat> Second point is real time. Real time processing. So what is real time processing? In S4, we are going to use real time processing. That means already I've given the hints. In ECC, we have two systems are there. So one system is our well tp system which is nothing but your erp system where which we are using for normal transaction point of view and for reporting point of view we are using bw system so that's why we are taking the data from our source system which is known as your etl process so this regular activity is there so from erp system we are going to take the data so regularly we have to run the batch jobs we have to use multiple bw extractors because in this source system so many tables are there and top of it here this is row based architecture so the table structure is row based and again parallel processing is not there locking mechanism is there so all this i already explained in different video you can go through that so because of locking mechanism so <clears throat> parallel processing is not there because of locking mecha mechanism then we have row based architecture so processing is also not that great so that is why here we can say real time processing not available in ecc whereas in s4 is not like that so in s4 we are using real time processing so uh, in ecc we have to use two systems so technically this is my well tp system and this is my analytical system or olap system so regularly we have to fetch the data from this system for our reporting point of you but now in s4 if you are going to upgrade our system into s4 then this is coming with bw embedded bw and we are we are having a common database that is hana database which is going to support both our s4 system as well as well as bw system or our oltp system as well as analytical system so this is another benefit so real time processing reconciliation issue resolved real time processing is also uh, resolved third point so planning and analysis means here in our uh, old system or in your uh, ec system so we have one module was there that is our bpc module business planning and consolidation so that was there in a different system so bpc module was different in our ec system or in our old system erp system so it was we are using a separate system for our planning purpose for our uh, data analysis point of view so that means again when you are going to take the same data again and again to different system so that, so that will be that means duplication of data is there so it's not only in planning it also it is there it is also here also duplicate because same transactions once again you are going to take into bw same output data you are going to take bw system for your analytics same concept here also we have planning system so in acc we are using a bp system different one and that is why uh, separate because of separate system so we are transferring the data and again data duplication but now it is not that so in s4 system as the data is going to store in one single table in fact for a planning purpose we are using ac doc p table but it is supported with hana system so no need to transfer the data back and forth so as a result your performance is going to increase so that is another reason if you are going to upgrade the system into s4 system also another benefit is if you are going to use uh, s4 systems then it also includes your CRM, your SRM, new dimensional product that is also embedded with your S4 system. So that means with this enterprise management or with your S4 business suite, so we are going to have this new, these products are also available. Okay, so next one is your parallel processing. I already given the hints, parallel processing. 
So parallel processing, parallel processing, little bit lengthy concept here. I'm not going to explain that one already have video. You can check that one. So parallel processing, we can say here we are going to use SAP own hardware, which is in memory platform or in memory technology. So because of that, so now here uh, we are going for parallel processing. That means no locking mechanism is applicable here. So which is so advanced. So this new system is so advanced. That means you are going to deploy all your <coughs> You are going to deploy all your processor together so if you are going for a high-end report and that means from multiple tables we are going to take the data we are going to take the index table data we are going to take the uh, special zero transaction segregate table data so all informations together we are going to put there and we are going for a combined processing multiple processing because this system is having multi-core and multi processing facilities and already we change our table structure from our uh, row based to your column based so that means it is more advanced or more uh, performance oriented we can say because of the upgradation of your hana database in place of any third party database so as it is advanced in system so that means we can deploy multiple processors together and just imagine we, here we have one uh, sorry <clears throat> so here let's imagine here we have this is our processor okay and in this processor we have uh, this is our uh, cpu and here we have let's say four processors are there a b c d and we have to execute some data we have to do some calculation now assume that only one processor is active and all, all other locked so that means one by one we are going to phase wise we are going to process the data now you can imagine how much time it is going to take whereas other hand if the four processors we can deploy together so obviously your processing will be faster so that is known as your parallel processing and no locking mechanism is applicable here so if you are going to upgrade your database and your uh, uh, software then this facility also will be there because of software we are going to have universal general so business process we are going to simplify and because of hardware the performance we are going to increase so that is also uh, another benefit next point is so each point i'm briefly i'm explaining which we will you will include in your uh, answering that question so next one is your sift calculation calc new calculation engine so what is new calculation engine so because of this new calculation engine we are going to shift the calculation you just imagine when we have the old system so in the old system this is our application there which we are having the ecc as software and this is our database which is nothing but a traditional database rdbms every time we need to take the data from the source for the processing point of view to the application layer and we will process it and then finally you are going to transfer the end result whereas in s this is our old system whereas in s4 system we have the system database we, we have multiple tenant databases are there okay now your raw data will be available here so here where is the load complete load the complete load in the application layer because every time you are going to take the data to your application layer for the processing point of view but now we are going to keep the raw data here and this data we will transfer to your tenant database here it will be processed because it is capable of processing because of in-memory uh, technology and so many things now it will be processed here and then we are going to transfer to your output or your result to your netweaver or simply you can say to your application layer so now we have shifted our load to your uh, application uh, from application layer to the database layer so definitely your performance is going to increase so this is your new calculation or shift calculation new calculation engine as a result what is the benefit here benefit is earlier we are using faggle flex t for our aggregate and total table the balance of GL when you are going to check any GL balance. So that time we used to get the data or the Faggle Flex table we are using. So this is the old mechanism, old calculation. Faggle Flexa, that is for your line items. So that means in ECC and if you are working on classic GL, then it will be GLT0. So GLT0 does not upload your data in your new GL. But those things are simplified. Uh, not now, if you are having the new GL, then we have uh, uh, we are going to activate the new GL and the most important feature where users are very happy because of that that is your cloud functionalities cloud options so in ECC all customers they need to buy 
hardware that means their customers or business they need to go for the on-premise where they have to invest on hardware as well as license software as well as hardware so they have to maintain their data center so that they will get, get a traditional system so this is a traditional system where uh, they have uh, all the users are working here this is a traditional the backend one will be done here and uh, users are working here so all the user activities that is the old process so on premise means buying the hardware buying the software doing the development hiring the consultants so doing their everything they are own whereas in cloud all these things are not required so cloud is just like plug and play that means business will take the subscription for the cloud and from the day one they can start using if any modification is required of course SAP is going to help them for that purpose and every quarter they are going to have the new releases so if we are going to shift from on-premises to cloud then this will be your new access which is also known as your fury so this one is uh, the fury which is the cloud option so if customers are going for the cloud option then they can enjoy the different uh, fury applications so it is you can say replacement of your sap easy access where we can perform various user activities okay so um, uh, here uh, in my case like you can see so many applications are there different applications are there because i have the complete access but in reality as per the user's profile as per the user's roles the different applications will be there so suppose let's say i'm the user and i'm more, only working on asset management so those applications will be available here and it is more user friendly here user is going to get a new user experience so for example let's say i want to show you one uh, application here which recently here you can see that uh, frequently used applications recently used applications so various applications we can you can create master records we can post documents transactions we can see any reports let's say this randomly i picked one application here that is i want to see the billing documents which is posted from sd point of view and suppose uh, i want to add my customer details let me pick the first one and i want to see the details so this is one billing document is there now here uh, with this particular application i can see uh, all the informations related to particular customer so here you can see process flow is there i want to see the details i want to see the accounting information that also i can see i can see the pricing uh, information so i can see tax information suppose i want to see the processing flow related to this particular business partner or customer i want to simply click on process flow i can see the detail that means for this customer i created one sales order proceed with outbound delivery proceed with billing document invoice this is my billing document and with this we got the fi sd integrated document so quickly i won't see anything more i can click on this suppose i will click on this document then i will get more information particularly uh, this one you can see here if i will click on this application you can see i want to see the journal entries i want to see the accounting entries let's click on this so it i will be redirected to another document now it is taking me to the accounting document so this is my accounting document so in this list this is my receivable now i am in gr view so it is receivable customer in place of customer it is receivable then this is my credit so it is 50 this is this one is my gl then we have some discount sales reduction some tax so from how i got this so it's a different application from my original applications i got it here so this is the benefit if you are using different applications so it is not any device specific we can use it in any other device any device we just need to download that application and we can use it then uh, on go we can use it so it is uh, uh, like uh, not like mobility option also we are going to give so and investment is also very low because when we will go for on-premises then huge investment will be there but here just pay for the subscription charges for the uh, apps which we are going to use so this is another benefit if you are going to use the sap s4 hana and the cloud versions and uh, the last the not uh, last but not the least that is your faster speed so in 
HANA database, it is much more faster. I have already given so many reasons. That means if instead of using, if you are going for SAP own database, then because of parallel processing, because of multi-core, multi-processing, because of uh, your uh, uh, row, uh, uh, columnar table, and having many, many features. Now, this system is always recommendable. So that's why in all new implementations, you will find that S or HANA is used on HANA database. You will find uh, uh, that means uh, all new rollouts, this one is available lots of migration projects are there because very soon sap is going to drop completely the ecc or the old concept although still it is there but very soon it will be there so that's why from the job point of view you will find that in every job companies are looking that you should have the s4 knowledge you should have s4 implementation experience you should have s4 experience should be there so that is why it is highly required that you should have good knowledge on SAP S4 HANA. So if you have uh, ECC knowledge, you upgrade yourself on uh, this uh, HANA technology so that you can your CV will be shortlisted. So these are the few points which is uh, you can add questions, particularly from SAP and SAP HANA and S4 HANA point of view. If you have any question, feel free to uh, come add in the comments or you can send me the mail so that I will answer it. Thank you very much.